Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to connect to Azure SQL from SSMS. That is nothing but the SQL Server Management Studio. So when you have installed SQL Server Management Studio in your machine and you want to connect to your Azure SQL database, from there, how you are going to do that, right? So, so we are going to uh, discuss this particular topic. Uh, so for that, what I'll do is I will navigate to Azure portal where I have already logged in into Azure portal and uh, I will show you the, uh, the Azure dot SQL database that I have created already that I'm going to connect it from my SSMS, right? So the complete step we will see. Let me navigate there. And now you can able to see I have already logged in into Azure portal. Here, what you need to do is just search for SQL databases and click on the search result SQL databases. You can able to see here my uh, one Azure SQL uh, database is I have already created. That is Azure License DB. Click on that, and the moment you do that, you will see here the server name. Okay, so this is quite important. You can able to see here this is the server name. Okay. In my case, it is Azure Lessons Database dot Windows dot Net. Okay. So now, what you'll do is, uh, I will go to, I will just open, I will just open a SQL Server Management Studio. You will search here. You will get. So make sure you have installed this one. Okay, if you are not installed, then uh, probably you can search it in Google. For us uh, to install SQL Server Management Studio, and you will get the Microsoft uh, link for that, where you can download and install uh, this uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so now uh, let me just remove this, uh, just to give you a clarity, because I have already uh, you know connected to this database. It is showing me default that. So basically, you need here to connect uh, from uh, SSMS from this uh, SQL Server Management Studio to your Azure SQL database. You need the uh, server name, okay, and the authentication. These are the two quite important things you need, okay. So for the server name, what you can do is, as we uh, we already opened this uh, uh, Azure portal, and you can able to see this is the server name which I was talking about. So you need to copy this server name and uh, just paste it here okay and the other thing is authentication so this is quite important see basically so basically while creating the uh, azure sql database you need the sql database server okay where you need to you know choose this authentication part okay either you can use sql authentication or microsoft entra so basically three types you can choose it or well, like i can just show you here now let me do that first so say uh, let me open one more tab duplicate i'll go to home i'll go to scale databases so when you will create this you click on this create button to create a azure new azure SQL database okay now here you'll see you need a server right database server okay so you can click on this create new and here if you'll see authentication method is there right so basically there are three types of authentication okay so if you'll choose use microsoft enter only authentication which i have already chosen during this creation of this particular database okay and another thing is you, you can choose also both SQL and Microsoft Entra authentication. And the third thing is you can also use only SQL authentication. So based on that, these uh, options will change, right? So if I will choose this one, like during the creation of my Azure SQL database, I, I have created a, a new server named as Azure Lessons. Okay, and uh, here you need to choose the, I mean, you need to set the admin, okay? For that, what I have do, done is I clicked on set admin and I have chosen this, uh, this one. 
this one okay and select so that's why this particular id okay i need to log in now to this azure sql database i mean from the ss ms right so if they are i would have chosen sql server authentication say i i would have chosen sql huge sql authentication in that case i need to enter a username say i will say ask issue and then password then confirm password if i will choose here now sql authentication i need to provide a username password and confirm password then while while login while connecting from ssms in that case i need to choose here sql server authentication then i need to provide the login username and the password that i have entered here right while creation of this sql database server okay same way since i have chosen this uh, microsoft entra only authentication and i set the admin this few lines for biju at the dot mail dot com so it, this id what generated right so this one i need to log in now okay so basically how you will get that we'll uh, go here uh, this azure sql database if you go here just click on this server so you can able to see here this is the microsoft entra admin right this id we need now click i i'll just copy this server name you can able to see this one which you have already copied now the next thing is i need to choose the i need to copy this microsoft entra admin so now i'll go here i will choose microsoft entra default and then username i'll put that admin okay then i will say connect so during the creation uh, time whatever the authentication method you have choose based on that only you need to provide the username password or this admin microsoft entry admin whatever based on that uh, option that you choose they are right so just to give you a clarity i told you the overall things but for me now i need to choose here i am providing your server name then authentication microsoft entry default and the admin the uh, user or admin i have chosen during that time that i need to provide you can able to see now i'm able to connect to uh, my azure sql database now you can able to see you have connected to our azure sql database you can just expand the database to see what are the database available and all you can able to see here it is azure lesson database that you have already created so that's it for today i thought to show you how to connect uh, azure sql database from the ssms or the sql server management studio and this is the approach you need to follow to connect from the ssms thanks for watching this video if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on on different azure articles and different helpful azure power cell commands as well as different helpful azure cli command thanks a lot and have a nice day bye bye